Hey, it's KJ, welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you 12 things that you can take from your stateroom for free on your next Disney cruise. If you guys are new to the channel, I share a lot of tips, especially when it comes to taking your little kids, toddlers, and babies to Walt Disney World and on Disney Cruise Line. I do have three kids, four and under, so I have a lot of experience with taking my little ones to Walt Disney World and on Disney Cruise Line. So I love sharing all of my tips with you guys so that when you go on your Disney vacations, you have a little bit better idea of what to expect. So if you're new and you like that type of content, I would love to have you subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's get into those 12 things that you can get for free from your cabin on your next Disney cruise. Number one, a pen. Okay guys, don't laugh, but this is one of Johnny's favorite things to take home anytime we go on a Disney vacation, whether it's Walt Disney World or on a Disney cruise, Johnny always has to get the Disney pen. He loves to collect all of the different pens, like I said, from all of the different Disney resorts and all of the different Disney ships. It's just something that he, you know, likes to take home with him. It's a little bit of magic that he can bring back you know, to our home. I will say though, we don't really see them in the resorts as much as we used to, but we definitely still see them on Disney Cruise Line. So if you see one and you wanna take it, go for it. Number two, slippers. If you are staying concierge on Disney Cruise Line and you have slippers, go ahead and take them home. Now they're nothing fancy, but you know, it's always just nice to have like a spare. When we went to Disney Alani, we had slippers and I took them home with us. We would love to stay at concierge one day. It's definitely on our bucket list. One of my YouTube friends, Jen from Jen and Joe on the go, they have stayed concierge multiple times on Disney Cruise Line. And Jen has told me that concierge is the way to go if you can, you know, swing it. And I did ask her, I said, do you get slippers? on Disney Cruise Line, can you take them home? And she said, you do. So that's, you know, why I added it to the list here. So yes, if you do stay concierge, you can get these slippers for free. Number three is toiletries. Now, not as much as you used to because a lot of the toiletries now are built into the shower. They're in the wall. So you can't take those like cute little, you know, travel size ones home with you anymore. But a lot of times they still have the little bars of soap you can take with you or just like other little toiletries. Anything that's not mounted to the wall, you can take home. So if you're staying concierge, I would imagine they have more things like when we've stayed club level at Walt Disney World or we stayed deluxe at Walt Disney World, there are several more toiletries that you are given. So I imagine the same for concierge. But if you're just staying in a standard room, you can take home whatever toiletries are not attached to the wall. I believe right now it's really only bars of soap. But again, that is something free you could take home. Number four, chocolates. Now this is definitely my favorite, you guys. So whenever I go on a Disney cruise, they always give you little chocolates. Like when they do your, your turn down service, they always make a little towel animal or you know blanket animal and they always have chocolates. That's one of my favorite things to take home. Right now they have Dove chocolate. That's the type of chocolate that Disney is giving out on Disney Cruise Line. And you know, sometimes we eat them in the room, but a lot of times, you know, we'll eat like one or two and then we take the rest home. And it's so fun, like, you know, that next week or two that we're home that we just, you know, oh, I'm gonna have a little, you know, chocolate from the cruise. And it just brings back a little magic. And like, who doesn't like free chocolate? Number five, a corkscrew. So you can ask your cabin steward for a corkscrew. If you bring a bottle of wine from home, which you can do, I believe you can bring up to two bottles per person, 21 and over in your cabin. So if you do need a corkscrew, you actually can take it home. And I believe they have the Disney Cruise Line brand logo on there. At least the last time we were on a Disney cruise they did. So, I mean, that can always change, but that's really cool because you get a Disney Cruise Line branded item and you can take it home. So if you are a wine drinker, definitely ask for a corkscrew because you can take that home with you and it's free. Number six, a postcard and a letter and envelope. So now when I was younger and I used to go away to camp or maybe I went away with my cousins or my aunts or what have you, if I were ever traveling, I always like to send postcards home because you know, we didn't have cell phones the way we, we do now. You couldn't talk to someone like a, you know, with a click of a button. So I used to love sending postcards. So it's not quite the same, like, you know, getting a free postcard, but you know, it is something free that you can take from your room. And it is just like a nice little keepsake. You can either send the postcard out. You can actually send postcards from Castaway Key. You can fill it out in your room and then head over to Castaway Key. You need the proper postage, but you can send it from Castaway Key, or you can send it really from any of the places that you may be visiting as long as they have a post office and you have the proper postage. But you know, it's just like a nice, little keepsake that you can take back with you. And if you have little kids, you know, it's always something fun for them to draw on, you know, on the plane ride home or the car ride home. Just, you know, it's like, oh, I'm drawing on Mickey paper. Like my kids love that. So whenever we get the letter and envelope, my kids always love to like draw all over it. And they're like, oh, I'm drawing on the Mickey paper. So just like a cute little thing that you can take home. Or like I said, you can give to your little ones to entertain them for a little bit. Number seven, memories from your veranda. Okay, guys, I know it's a little cheesy, but it's true. If you guys have a veranda and if you love your veranda, 
veranda like my husband does. I personally am not a fan of the veranda just because, I don't know, I just, I get a little like afraid of heights, I guess. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of it. But Johnny loves the veranda and he loves sitting out on there. And I have some great pictures of him, you know, overlooking the veranda, overlooking the ocean, looking at Castaway Key. And it's just, you know, just these great memories that, you know, we have from our, our stateroom or just, you know, that Johnny has from sitting out on the veranda. Again, I know it's cheesy. But if you are going on a Disney cruise and you're staying in a room that has a veranda, make sure you soak it all in if you're like Johnny, not like me, if you're like Johnny and just enjoy being out there. Number eight, prepackaged food from room service. So an example of this would be Uncrustables. So something we like to do on our last night of our Disney cruise, we will order some Uncrustables, we'll keep them in our beverage cooler or refrigerator, and then we will take them with us when we get off the ship. Now remember, you can only take off prepackaged goods off the ship, same as when you go on the ship, you can only take on prepackaged goods. You can't take anything like fruit or just anything open, you're not allowed to take, but the Uncrustables are great. So we will take them and on our bus ride or car ride back to the resort or to the airport, it is a great snack because again, they do have to be refrigerated, but if they're out for like an hour or two, it's really fine. I mean, you know, do it at your own discretion, but for us, it's like we know they're fine for like an hour or two. So definitely if you want to get some Uncrustables or some other snacks that are packaged, order them the last night of room service, and then you can take them home with you. Number nine is a tote bag. So if you are a Castaway Club member, what this means is you've been on one Disney cruise already. So not your first Disney cruise, but your second Disney cruise, you will get a free tote bag per stateroom. So let's say you and a family member or you and a friend went on a Disney cruise previously, but then you're bunking up together, like, I mean, you know, or your spouse. So Johnny and I, we've both been on Disney cruises before with our kids, but we only get one tote per stateroom. The bags are super cute and great quality. And just nice to get a little token for, you know, having been on a cruise before, you get a tote bag. Now you do get this for each additional cruise you go on. Again, after you go on your first cruise, each additional Disney cruise you go on, you will get that tote bag. So you can, you know, collect them for your whole family if you wanted to. Number 10 also goes along with the Castaway Club membership, and that is a lanyard. So again, if you've been on a Disney cruise before, on your second cruise and beyond, you will get a lanyard that has a little slot for your key to the world card, or, you know, whatever you want to use it for. You know, the kids love them. It's just like a fun little thing for them to have. We don't really use them because we don't, we don't really think you need lanyards. I know that's like a big, like, you know, unpopular opinion for a Disney cruise line, but we're not big into the lanyards. But if you do want one, you do get one for free after your first Disney cruise. Now, one one little bonus there if you've been on five cruises or more on your sixth cruise you get a wet dry bag as of right now that could change in you know upcoming years and then for each additional status you reach so once you hit 10 cruises on your 11th cruise I think you're platinum and then I think 25 is pearl so anyway you do get additional gifts for each time you reach one of those milestones and it is free Number 11, which I don't have enough fingers for that, but number 11 <laughs> is a pirate bandana. So if you are going on a cruise that has a pirate neck, you will get a pirate bandana, except if you're going on the Disney Wish, they do not give the pirate bandanas, but if you are going on any of the other ships, they do give you a pirate bandana if you have a pirate night on your cruise. Number 12, again, I don't have enough fingers for this, pixie dusting. So now this is technically right outside your door. Now I don't mean a pixie dusting like when you go to Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique and you get, you know, pixie dusted. This is like when you get pixie dusted with something in your fish extender. So on our last cruise, when we went on the Disney Dream, we got pixie dusted so many times. Again, I know it's technically outside your cabin, but you know, we're just gonna go with it. Now this is not to be confused with fish extenders where you do like the fish extender exchange because then you're technically you're paying for something right you're buying gifts for other people so if you're pixie dusted that is totally free that just means somebody gifted you something just because they wanted to so on our last disney cruise we pixie dusted people i think we use little disney crayons i got these little disney crayons from the dollar tree you know winnie and i walked around the ship and found people with fish extenders and put the little crayons in you know just giving people a little bit of disney magic so it was really nice when people pixie dusted us as well we got so many different things from stickers to to little tattoos, to Disney ducks, to bubbles, just so many different things. And we were so appreciative. And again, it's free. And it's just so nice that other fellow Disney cruisers are passing along that magic. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it all the way to the end, leave me a little wave emoji, like, like the ocean wave. Leave me that emoji uh, in the comments down below. And if you guys are new and you like the content, I would love to have you subscribe. I do a ton of Disney cruise tips and a ton of Disney World trips, especially when it comes to taking your kids to Disney World. So if you like any of those things, I would love to have you subscribe down below. I also share a lot of vlogs. Anytime we go on our Disney vacations, I share all the vlogs from that. So again, 
If you like that kind of content, we'd love to have you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support the channel. And with that, I will see you guys real soon. Bye.